Andrei Balak, the designer of the Tongat Mall, has taken heat today. People are used to building things in fast-track solutions. And if you're doing shopping centers, you should be able to accommodate those fast-track solutions and changes. It's part of the game. Rob Young, a leading engineer, says the collapse could have been avoided if the columns were correctly designed. He says the columns were not only foundationally weak, but also had insufficient support structures to prevent them from buckling. If it's unrestrained, the whole thing can just do that. In fact, uh, that's what happened in 47. The columns were expected to support a weight equivalent to 200 cars, yet were only able to support half of that. Young also feels there was a lack of engineering control on site. There's now concern over the presence of seven steel reinforcement bars in a section that the design doesn't call for. It's somebody who calculated. They didn't just thumb suck it. And I want to know who did that. It's a matter the foreman of the site will have to answer to. Ronnie Pelé has been recalled to take the stand on Wednesday. He'll have to answer for a number of issues, including why concrete, which was used for a beam, was poured on two separate occasions, causing a failure in its bond. Judith Subban, Tongat. No more. ENCA.com.